What's up, everybody? I'm starting this new thing on Stucky Media where I'm going to be doing these video podcasts from time to time on different subjects. And if you have a, um, a subject that you would like me to talk about that's photography related, um, then you can just simply uh, go to my website at uh, stuckymedia.weebly.com and leave a message in the comments tab or you can leave a message right under this video and inbox me on Facebook or YouTube. Either one is acceptable. Um, so, a few weeks ago, I ran into a couple of photographers that I know um, at school at uh, at Eastern Michigan University. And um, this first guy, he had this really nice Canon, um, I think it was a... Um, it was a a Rebel EX5 or something like that. Really nice, uh, really nice looking camera. And um, it surprised me about how much this guy didn't even know about this camera that he had in his hand. He didn't even know about the different settings, you know, RAW versus JPEGs. He didn't even know about how to change his aperture and things around. And it just astounded me how how this guy had this nice camera and he didn't know the basics and fundamentals of it. And so, you know, one thing I've heard from every single photographer who I've spoken to, and that's, they said, read your manual. It's real simple. If you have a piece of, if you have a, an electronic device, any device, you need to read the manual first. You don't, you shouldn't have a camera in your hand and not know how to use it, especially one that's that expensive. So, it just astounds me how people say, well, I want to be a photographer, yet they know nothing about the basics. You should be wanting to learn about basic things, like aperture, and shutter speed, and ISO. Those are basic things to know about photography. So that just really astounds me. So that just it that gets on my nerves sometimes with some people. The other thing I I, I met this um this other photographer who I knew for a while. Um, you know, he likes Sony products like I do. And um so I see him around school a lot. He says he works with student paper, but I haven't seen photos from him in a very, very long time. And it astounds me how much he wants to play and have a good time, but he doesn't, I don't, I hardly see him taking pictures or doing anything like that. You know, I think that if you're going to be a photographer, if you're going to call yourself a photographer or you say that you want to be a pro photographer, you actually have to learn how to take good images and that means that you have to take a lot of pictures. Some of the best photographers I know are always seasoned with their camera. Always. They're never without it. And I'm not saying every person has to be that way, but I see a few decent pictures from him every few months, and I think that's, that's kind of crazy. So, the purpose of this whole thing was to give people out there two pieces of advice. One, know your camera. Okay, read the manual, do that stuff. Secondly, act like a photographer. If you want to be a photographer, something you're passionate about, something you want to do, then that means that you need to be taking pictures, you need to be working with people, you need to be, every single day you should be wanting to learn something new about being a photographer. So, there it is. So if you have any comments on this podcast, um, please shoot me an email. Um, Go to my webpage, duckymedia.weebly.com. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and of course right here on YouTube. Thanks. I will see you guys next time. Bye.